Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve April 2023 university question paper under the subject strategic financial management. This is part 4 of a video series based on solving April 2023 question paper. Again, a very important video for all the TYBMS M6 students. Now, there was one question which was pending which wasn't solved earlier. So, in this video, we are going to solve that particular question. That was question number 4. One of the part of that question number 4 was pending to be solved. So, this particular video is dedicated to that one particular sum okay so let us see what was question number four and how to solve them in the most simplest manner okay let us see the last question which was pending from this particular question paper that was question number four 15 marks a company is considering taking up one or two projects alpha and beta both the projects have the same life require equal investment of rupees 80 lakhs each and both are estimated to have almost the same yield. As the company is new in this type of business, the cash flow arising from the projects cannot be estimated with the certainty. An attempt was therefore made to use probability to analyze the pattern of cash flow from their project during the first year of operation. The pattern is likely to continue during the life of these projects. The result of the analysis are given below. So we have project alpha and project uh, beta. They are giving you the cash flow and they are giving you the probabilities. Which of the two projects would be riskier based on the criteria of coefficient of variation? So based on coefficient of variation, they are asking which is the more uh, riskier. Again, so chalo, let us start the sum. So first I am going to do for alpha project alpha. So I will write here project alpha. Okay. Now, very first thing, cash flow is given to us. I'm writing, taking this as X and probability is P. Okay, so we have 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Probability is 0 0.10, 0 0.20, 0 0.40, 0 0.20, and 0 0.10. We need to make the next column that will be, you know x multiplied by probability and the total of that will be called as x bar we'll keep that as x bar so let us find the next column that is p x into p to find the expected return so i'll get the calculator okay in the first case it is 12 into 0 0.1 so that is 1.2 next 14 into 0.2 it is 2.8 Third is 16 into 0.4, which is 6.4. Next is 18 into 0.2, which is 3.6. And 20 into 0.1, which is 2. Okay. We add up all. So 1.2 plus 2.8 plus 6.4 plus 3.6 plus 2. It comes to 16. So the expected return is basically 16% here or 16. Next column now what we require will be it will be each value of x minus x bar so it will have x minus x bar so for 12 minus 16 is negative 4 14 minus 16 is negative 2 16 minus 16 is 0 18 minus 16 is 2 20 minus 16 is 4 next x minus x bar the whole square 4 4s are 16 2 are 4, 0, 4 and 16 and last probability into x minus x bar the whole square so we have to multiply probability with this column so on the calculator 16 into 0 0.1 so that will become 1.6 next is 4 into 0 0.2 which is 0 0.8 next anything into 0 is 0 next is again 4 into 0 0.2 so that will become 0 0.8 and 16 into 0.1 is 1.6 we add up this whole column that's basically our variance so 1.6 plus 0.8 plus 0.8 plus 1.6 is 4.8 okay once i got the variance now we can go ahead and find the standard deviation standard deviation is nothing but the root of variance which is nothing but the root of 4.8 so on a calculator 
4.8 the root is 2.19 so i'm writing here 2.19 once we got the standard deviation we can find coefficient so coefficient of variation the formula is standard deviation upon x bar so standard deviation was 2.19 and the x bar that we got was 16 so 2.19 divided by 16 we got the value of 0 0.1368 so I'm writing here 0 0.137 okay this is a coefficient of variation of project alpha now same way we'll do for beta and then we'll try to compare it okay I hope everyone have understood this part so we'll go with the second part project beta in the same order so i'll write here this is project beta okay we have x we have p next will be x into p so x may 8 12 16 20 and 24 from probability we have 0 0.10 0 0.25 0 0.30 0 0.25 and 0 0.10 now we multiply so that we can get a x bar so 8 into 0.1 is 0 0.8 next 12 into 0.25 is 3 16 into 0.3 is 4.8 20 into 0.25 is 5 and 24 into 0.1 is 2.4 we add up 0.8 plus 3 plus 4.8 plus 5 plus 2.4 the value comes to 16 next is x minus x bar 8 minus 16 is 6 uh, is negative 8 12 minus 16 is negative 4 16 minus 16 is 0 20 minus 16 is positive 4 24 is 8 now x minus x bar the whole square 8 8s are 64 ok 4 4s are 16 0 16 64 now we multiply that with the probability so p into x minus x bar the whole square so that will be 64 into 0 0.1 though so that comes to 6.4 16 into 0 0.25 is 4 0 is 0 this will become 4 and 6.4 we add up that is nothing but our variance so we have 6.4 plus 4 plus 6.4 plus 4 which comes to 20.8 once we got that standard deviation is the root of variance which is the root of 20.8 so on the calculator 20.8 the square root is 4.56 so now we find coefficient of variation coefficient of variation the formula is standard deviation upon x bar standard deviation of 4.56 upon 16 we divide 4.56 divided by 16 we get the value as 0 0.285 okay so now no 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 alpha ka, so this is the coefficient 0 0.285 here it is 0 0.137 now this is of alpha this is of beta so the analysis my final answer the analysis will be the coefficient of variation is greater in case of project beta which carries greater degree of risk than project alpha okay again i repeat the last statement we'll have to write down the coefficient variation is greater in case of project beta okay which carries a greater degree of risk than project alpha okay so the question was which one is a riskier so based on coefficient of variation beta or project beta is much riskier than project alpha okay so this is how you all had to solve this particular sum which was pending from April 2023 question paper. Chalo, I hope everyone have understood that. With that we will be ending this video here. Thank you.